July is over, over. July is over, which means we are one step closer to August, which means we are one step closer to my birthday, which means I am one step closer to becoming 22 years old with no prospects of a husband in the future. My mom literally had a legitimate conversation with me about how I need to freeze my eggs. Today I'm going to be showing you guys things that I liked or loved or bought and stuff that pertain to the month of July, also known as Hula July. I don't know. Straws, because you're worth it. And I got these ones from Amazon. These ones are gold and white, but they're kind of more like a mustard color in white. Whatever. Another favorite of the month is gay marriage. Another home favorite are these coasters. Oh my gosh, are they not the prettiest things ever? My friend got these from me and they're from Jonathan Adler and they're so beautiful. It was like a housewarming gift and I was like, you're the nicest. This is the Twinings slash Twinnings Peach Iced Tea. It's cold brew. You can make it cup by cup or you can make it in a giant jug and then pour it into another giant jug and drink it. I've recently been obsessed with Victoria's Secret loungewear. I'm all about it. So comfy. Got this off the shoulder sweater, which I think is really cute. And it has like a little peephole in the back. And then I got a bunch of these like muscle tees and I got other ones that have like crisscrossies in the back. I think they're so cute. I could live in them. I really could. I do. I don't really wear normal clothes. My other fashion favorite is also a sweatshirt. This is a hoodie from Wild Fox. It says Wild Fox on the hood. Inception. Bury me in Wild Fox, please. <coughs> This one's from Calvin Klein. I really like it. It's so soft and so comfortable and so cute. And I like that it shows like on the sides and it's like banded and adorable. Guys, this marks a uh, monumentous, monumentous, monument, monumentous, momentous. This marks momentous occasion. I think I'm saying that wrong. In last month's hair video, I showed you guys a pair of running shoes and I was like, I love wearing these, but I haven't been using them to work out. And one month, a favorite will be working out. The day has come. Huzzah! I have been working out. I know, I know. Granted, it's not like I've been doing a lot, but we're getting there. I've been obsessed with these running shoes. These are from Nike. They're the Nike Flyknit. They're the most comfortable shoes ever created by mankind. They're so cute. I love them. My next favorite are squats. Who knew those work? I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think they were. I literally just walk around holding my butt because now there's something to hold. This is the Numi Octo Wand set, not to be confused with Octo Mom. This has eight curling rods in it with a base that it comes with. Eight. You can curl your hair with a different curling iron for every day of the week. There's only seven days in a week. Oh my gosh, they have you covered for like if there ever becomes an extra day in the week. That'd be great. I would love an extra day in the week. It would have to be another weekend day though. What would we call it? I'm never gonna need to get another curling iron ever because this is going to last me my whole life and it's amazing. Today I actually used the second to largest one and I really like it because it creates these really nice like very beachy waves and I curl my hair like both towards and away from my face and then I just kind of like flip it around. So like I said, I like curling my hair both towards and away from my face with a curling iron, but you guys can see here that I actually kind of slide my hair on it. It really helps smooth it out. This is like second day, used to be kind of straight-ish hair. So that really helps with smoothing it out and making the curls look really seamless. There's no any kinks or stuff like that. And I think it looks really good curling away from the face too because it looks a lot more natural. But then the pieces that I like to do around my face, I curl away from my face just because I think it's a little more flattering because of a really round face. Then I just flip my hair around, zhuzh it up, mess it up, and you got beachy waves. And I love these because they work so well. It actually lasts more than one day because I'm not about doing touch-ups in my hair. Like I want it to be done once and then I don't want to have to like retouch it up the next day. It's nice because it literally just stays. Like I'm obsessed. If you use the code Coral Reef, you can get the Octo One set and an argan oil for $139. Break that down, that is like eight curling irons for $139 and argan oil. What? What? But if you only want to get just one curling iron, you can go onto the site and using the code Fruit Punch, you can get any curling wand on the site for $39. Oh, this is amazing. I know. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm going to have the links down below with the codes typed out in the description, so check it out. This is the simple cleansing Micicler. Micicler water. I love this. I really like makeup removers that are not oil-based because you're not supposed to use oil-based when you lash extensions and I'm like, these babies are always a favorite. So I just put this on one of those like big round things and I just like take my makeup off. And take my makeup off, like, oh my, it's, it's amazing. This is the Soap and Glory, the greatest scrub of all. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. This is pretty much the greatest scrub ever. I'm all out of it and I'm really sad about this. It's just like a really great face scrub. It doesn't irritate my skin, but it like gets all the gross things off my face. Like my face. 
we are fully fledged back into the summer months. I am using my favorite summer perfume again. This is the Laura Mercier Almond Coconut Fragrance. I've been wearing this for like three, four, I think three years now. Oh, it's so bright, why it's so bright right now? Lighting change, sunshine. Megan was too lazy to set up her studio lights, so we are going based on Los Angeles sunshine, which there's none right now. I love this. It smells like almonds and coconuts. And if you guys didn't know, almond is my favorite scent in the entire world. Oh, and the almond coconut, it literally just smells so good. And I get so many compliments every time I wear it because it's such a unique fragrance. It's amazing. You guys were all very sad that I didn't have a book favorite of last month, but I have one this month. Holly Madison's Down the Rabbit Hole. And I'll be honest with you guys, the only reason I bought the hard copy version was so I could Instagram it. But I actually downloaded this on Audible first because I saw that she was the one narrating it. And that made me so incredibly excited because it's her memoir and it's her talking about her life and her experience like in the Playboy Mansion. I was like, having her narrate this is gonna make it 10 times better. And it did. I was such a huge fan of the show Girls Next Door on E! when that aired. And this kind of just like gives you a whole different perspective on like everything, but like, damn. And you guys know that I'm obsessed with Audible, but it's also my favorite when authors read their own books on Audible. So if you guys wanna try this or any other book on Audible, if you're like, this is a little too risky for me, uh, use the code audible.com slash Megan, you can get a 30 day free trial on a book of your choice. And there's tons of other books on there. My favorite movie of the month was Trainwreck. I love this movie. So Trainwreck was ridiculously funny. I haven't laughed that hard in a movie in a really long time. My other favorite movie of the month was Inside Out. So incredibly cute. First of all, cried so hard. But I just loved it, especially coming from somebody who's dealt with uh, like emotional things and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, let's just not talk about it in the video. It was very validating and really like, just like the cutest movie ever. And it was like so incredibly good. So please go watch it. It was just so good. Oh, my music favorite of the month. Okay, so I have been all about throwback songs. If you guys didn't know, I drive a light blue convertible Beetle because I think I'm in a 90s movie. Hmm. So the thing about the summertime is I can like drive with the top down. It's amazing, I'm a huge fan of it. And when I do that, I just like feel like I've been transported back into like 1999. So all I do is listening to music from the 90s or the early 2000s. Like, you know, Third Eye Blind, uh, TLC, Sugar Ray, 3LW, Sixpence None the Richer, Semisonic, Smash Mouth, Counting Crows, Spin Doctors. Six and a half hours later. I'm just obsessed. So I made a whole playlist and I called it the Antisocial Summer Playlist. It's on Spotify. So if you guys wanna check that out and follow me on Spotify, I'll have it linked down below. upon the YouTube channel Superfruit this month and boy oh boy am I obsessed. Honestly, I just wanna be their best friend. I'm obsessed. And then from there, I found their band and I was like, wow, this is amazing. How have I missed out on like all of this stuff? I watched every single one of their videos. So this month I was locked out of my Netflix account for a really long time because I couldn't remember the password and my mom, the only other person who knows the password and she was backpacking with no cell reception, obviously. So I resorted to normal TV to be the background of my life. And I stumbled upon Chrisley Knows Best. I don't understand it. I don't know why they're famous. I don't really get it. Boy, oh boy, do I love that show. <laughs> and my final favorite of the month is that I started vlogs again. I know I've been so bad at posting vlogs on my second channel, but I started posting again. So I have two up there already. And hopefully I vlogged during VidCon. This is being filmed before that. So like fingers crossed. I've been really liking vlogging again. It's been fun. So if you guys want to check out those videos and subscribe, to my second channel for more vlogs. I'll have that linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. If you want to check me out on any of my other social media sites, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all of the above will be listed down below. Whoa, whoa. I hope you guys had an awesome July and I hope you have a great August, which you have to because it's my birthday and there's some really exciting announcements coming out soon. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel because if you're not subscribed to this channel, then you're a fake friend. Okay, I love you guys. Bye. Ooh, I heard say oodles and oodles. Okay, I love you guys. Oodles and oodles. Bye. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Look how big that thumb is. That's a really big thumb. <laughs> swole. Swole. Your skin's dry. Hi guys, starting a video with Mr. Old Man, Papa Carney, my daddy. 